Hi everyone, so I'm on a, a plug of um, collage papers at the moment and I'm trying to think of ways to use them up. So I'm actually I'm going to make up some toilet roll tube books uh, and I'm going to try and measure them as best I can and try and get decent paper for them. So the, this one is, they're all going to be different sizes so six by now. I can't, even, I can't even tell the rest of the measurements, so this is like 5.5 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right, so I'll write this to somewhere. Oh my god, this is so bad. Right, so it was. I'm just writing five and a half plus five dashes and then height wise we have four one but we'll probably make it four because we, we don't want it to be so it'll be how how long is five and a half Maybe a wee bit of a gap, so that's good. And that's his four, so we'll make it three point five, three and a half. And then maybe oh. I'll, f I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So just let me just grab a, a, a bunch of papers here that I've used as clean up prints for the jelly prints so I'm actually just going to cut these bits off and we're just going to use these and we're just going to grab and go you know what if people get it and they're not happy with the way I cut it because I kind of cut straight then you know they, they're more welcome to read it or toss it out or whatever they want to do I'm not really I don't care anymore just, <laughs> I'm just trying to make things for people, so to put in Happy Mail. So if whoever gets these, don't like them, then feel free to, you know, take them apart, use whatever's inside them and whatever. I don't know, but I'm just trying to use up my papers and stuff like that and try and make things for some Happy Meals, so. Oh, that one, this goes stinks. Like, oof. That one really stinks. Hopefully you don't smell it once it's glued down and stuff. So it really well. So I'll wait and see and I'll just use this big glue stick. I don't really like, like the smell of that one. Kinda stinks. So it looks like it's really sticky though, but it stinks. I go um wax paper off a dawn but I'm not going to use it all the now, I know she gave it to use the protection but that's me but staying me well now and it's only for a wee project so Better than that, so I'll, I'll use the stuff that she's given me at a later time and I'm not I'm maybe a bigger project. Just go try and get a nice dinner bit. And these were inspired by quite a few people to name. You know, I, I've seen a lot of people do them. Betsy Doodle's done them, uh, Dancing with Pitbull's done them, it was actually Dancing with Pitbull's that actually made me like 
I'm like, oh, do you know what? I've seen other people do that. I want to do it too. So I was watching her videos and I was like, oh, I like you. That goes well. So honestly, guys, if you receive this, I really apologise for my cutting. I just can't cut straight. And even we, a cutter, like even we, a paper trimmer, I still can't get it cut straight. I don't know why, but I just. It just, it just kind of seemed to get them to cut properly, straight, and it's like, uh So, I'm sorry if you get something from me and it's a bit bent. And, like, I'm not even on. Sorry, guys, I keep doing that. I'm not even on camera. <laughs> so, there's my wee cover. And then I'll just try and get some of this paper and just see what I can do with it. So, we did the measure. Five and a half plus five. That was for the wood. So I don't want that one. Less than that. Because I'll do it up here because I'm probably cutting up here anyway. Just kind of trim a wee bit off because these are pretty small. They're not the full. Oops, they're not quite the full height anyway. So, and then height-wise, right. So we need to kind of cut down because it's a bit longer than four. So we want it to be might help it all stay together. So it'll probably be probably better cutting out at four. So we'll cut it to a bit there. So let me try and get this cut as best I can guys. so I can see what I'm actually doing here and cut when I'm actually cutting Sorry if I go off camera sometimes guys I'm just really bad at staying on camera especially when I'm trying to cut things so I'm going to try my best and cut these as straight as I can but it might not be perfect God, it's starting to move. Oh my god, I can feel it going wonky already. <laughs> Let's see what I mean. This might not be perfect, guys. See, look, there's extra bits at the end, so I'm going to try and trim these a wee bit there. Because it did move a wee bit. Right, so I'm trying my best. <laughs> This is how I don't like sending a happy meal because I can't cut to save myself so I panic and it's like oh my god I can't send that to people because it's a pure mess and I don't know how I'm going to cut this because I don't even really measure it right so let me try that again. This way I'm Yeah. I need to measure it down here because this is where I'll be cutting, so... And I've got a lot of these that I need to do something with or bin. Probably just bin them. I really shouldn't be filming this because I'm making up your mess it. But... Try. So 
Hold on. It moved you know, that near the end there. I meant totally squint a bit. Oh, Alright, let's just try and do this. Let's try and hold it. I might need to do another wee bit of drumming, but we'll see. I'll be right back and you can grab the bubbles. Be right back, guys. Alright, I'm back. So, let me just check now on these trimmed mail. Look here, it's well over on these trimmed mail at the front, so. be using my paper clips and actually keep these in place. I'm just making my damn ass. Sorry guys, I really apologise if you, you're you one of the people that you see this in the video. I'm trying. I'm trying to make this stuff, but oh, I don't know. I really apologise if you're one of the people that receive this, but that's better. See? And then what we do is we grab the bubbles. And we put grab it like this. No, you don't grab it like that. I mean, you don't grab it like that. You grab it. How do you do it again? I think it's this. This way? Nope. Uh oh. I can't remember how you do it again. So I think it's this way. Alright, so you can uh, put them like that and then put, put them like that. And tuck that one under. And grab that end. No. Push that. Oh, I don't know, man. Just figure it out. <laughs> See you into all that. <laughs> this isn't a tutorial. If you want a tutorial, go and check out uh, Rebecca's. <laughs> she does an actual tutorial and shows you how to do it. So, yeah, if you want a tutorial, then go <laughs> check her video because I'm no good at doing tutorials. <laughs> so, I just wanted to come on and show you my plane. So, if you want an actual tutorial on how to make these, then go and go and check out her channel. It's dancing with pit bulls, and then you kind of put this down in the middle, and then you just tuck it over. That's not the middle one, really. It's the middle where it is. Tuck it over, and there's your wee book, and you open it up, and you got a wee book inside. For somebody to write on, and I'm going to keep these bit bare because I kind of want people to see what it is that's made it. I might paint it, I don't know, but I kind of like the bare look. And that way people can see what they're made from. And this is still on the right. There we go. So, you get kill wee books. I'm going to actually sit and make some more of these. 
try and find more paper because I've not really got a lot of paper to use. Okay, this kind of paper anyway, so I need to look for more paper. But yeah, so there you go, and then I might actually decorate them a bit further and look, you know, look put some stamping in that one and decorate them a wee bit further so they're not just like this. I don't even know how many pages I used on this. So you should get what, roughly in full 18 pages. So there we go. Book number one is done. So I see it's my 100 things challenge and it will be number 45 I think. Let me check. Where's my book? I should start writing them in here. Uh, 45. Where's my book? Where's the one that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, there it's. Let's just use this pen. I don't think I've got it. So, 45, 45. TP roll books. There we go. 45, I'm getting it guys, 5 five away if you're halfway, see, I'm getting there, I know I'm not showing you every single thing that I'm making, but it's because I don't want to come on and keep repeating what I've showed you already, you know, a lot of it's just, like, me working on my junk journal off camera, or making index cards off camera when I've already come on and showed you the index cards, so, it's, like that, you know, I don't want to keep, on, keep showing you the same thing. So, that's my other wee book I made that didn't turn out that great. That I was actually planning to keep myself show you. Like, see, it's not the greatest. It's alright, but it's really kind of wonky, and then that's a bit grungy because, like, it got a bit grungy whilst I was doing the measuring and, well, measuring the cutting. So, I could always take that page out actually and just give this to somebody as well. But I might just keep this for myself because I like when I'm making stuff for the 100 Things Challenge, I'm enjoying actually keeping a few wee bits for myself, at least one I think, one each thing for myself as well. So this will be mine. Uh, this will be going away to someday. Unhappy meal probably. And then I'll make more of these because I've got more tubes to make. Oh, quite a few here, I'll show you if I find them. I think I have five, there's only four here though. I'm missing one, I'm sure I had five. Yep. And then I've got some more in the bathroom to be squashed. I think I've got another four in the bathroom to be squashed. So, yeah, and I need to use up all these people, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun using these up. I've got enough for another. Well, I'm not going to use that one because that's not good. And I'll need to be like, let's, papers like this, I'll be adding more to them. Like, mere decorations and stuff. Um, like this. You know, I'll be adding their stuff to them anyway, but... I'm just going to use up these papers because like, I've got a whole drawer for them. A whole thingy of casual papers. So, even if I run out of the note paper bits then put the clean up book. Let's see a foot. Things here but I don't know if that would be fine with the puzzle or so big. Um so even if I've not got enough to like just cover it that way, like this one could take cover to this, one could take cover to this and I'll just like I kinda like this. So I might just cut that out and use that to cover one of the books, this to cover one of the books. So the bigger bits I can use to cover, there's another couple of bits, and then I can do book pages and stuff like that as well, and then I put like all this here to use to decorate the books, and then I put all this ripped, ripped stuff down here at the bottom. 
that I could use, but there's a lot of these papers that I don't really want to use as collage, so I'm not really that great. But this, they're really hard to use as collage, because they're quite thick. And I think with collage you really need thin papers like these, these are all going to get tossed out because I don't use them. Uh, so yeah, I've got some cover from dictionary paper here that can use the collage. So I'm going to sit and I'm going to chill out, watch some TV and make some more of these. And what I'll do is I'll just pause my video and uh, I'll come back and show you at the end the other books that I've made. And even if I wanted to, I could actually put some of the... I've not got a lot yet left though, but I could cover the books with these, this contact paper as well if I really want to, but I don't know if I will land, I'll just keep these for the index cards and stuff. Uh thought I've got index cards, give them a minute and I'll, sh and I'll show you at the end with the, when I get the toilet roll tubes all done. I'll come on and show you the other index cards I made earlier. Uh, I don't want this to be big enough to cover the whole book in my mate. It's got a bit tall so I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go guys and I'm going to just continue making these and uh, look for more papers to put in them and um, I'll be back. So I'll speak to you in a bit guys. Bye. So I finished making them. Uh, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do but I finished making them. I ended up getting some notebook paper and spraying it with my spray inks and stuff like that just to um, use up some of the papers that way. Um, but I've still got some of this blue paper here and that to use on other ones because I've still, as I say, I've still got more toilet roll tubes in the bathroom that I can use. But, what one was the one I said I was keeping? Was it this one? It's this one, isn't it? See, I think I said I was keeping that one. So that's my one. I think this was the one I said I was keeping. So, uh, I'll tell you right now because I've got that's kind of grungy looking then it probably is. Oh, aye, so this is a kind of, it's got a wee dirty spot there, so this is my one with my fingers. Um, so yeah, this is mine, so I might use it for some art or I might just use it as a wee notebook. And then we have, I'll show you the other ones. It's this one. Not even, mm. So it's be this way, but it doesn't really matter about why I show you. So this is all paper as well, so people can write on the notes or, you know, they can add on it as well. And then we've got these ones, so this is the front, this is back. I've never showed you the front and back of each of them, so this is the front of this one, this is the back. Uh, this is the front. This is the back. So this is the front. This is the back. And I've used most of the clean up pages, which is good as well. And then inside, as I say, I didn't spray like every single one, but I sprayed some of the pages. Tried to get them sprayed front and back, but some of them didn't turn out well. So, so they're kind of inky pages so people can either, you can see that I kind of went over somewhere. <laughs> so they're kind of inky pages, uh, some of them are no but you can still either make some art in here or you can just um, write on them for journaling. So you can put it in like a big journal, like a big junk journal or something and just use it for notes. This one, this is the front. This is the back. I was going to stamp them and all that, but I kind of just like them the way they are. If it was pure plain, like this one and that, I would stamp it. But these have kind of all got patterns on them, so I didn't think I needed to. And that's the same as well. I just took some notebook paper and cut it to size and added it into this. Some I've inked. A lot of them, so I'm using up some of my sprays as well because I've got intense box that I can use to make more sprays if I want. So, I'm 
This one's got a wee rip on it, but that's alright, you know, people can still write on it, just a wee bit of a rip. We just put the thing back over. Close it back up again. And then this one, this is the front, this is the back. And just the same again, some painted pages. And I'm kind of crispy because I, I kind of put them on my radiator to dry so they'd be a bit more crunchy and crispy. <laughs> and you can like tea stain them and whatever else you want to do as well but I prefer like sprays and stuff like that. But if you really want you can tea stain them. See this one's not really got a lot on it. So you can add your own spray to that or you can just leave it as it is and just the back's got some though. The good thing is, is it's spray paints you can look right over them, you know, with a pen. So that one's not got much on it, but this one has. It was just to give them a bit of pattern so that they weren't all like plain papers. Because it's easy enough just to put plain papers in them, but I think it's more arty to put some colour in there as well. So there we go guys, so I've made my books so I, and I've added them into my 100 things journal. So I've made five little books, four will go in Happy Mail and one will stay with me and it'll go into one of my junk journals. But yeah, I think they look kind of cool. They look cool. So let's take a wee picture, shall we? I should really clean up the rest of the desk <laughs> to get the decent picture, but there we go. God, it's, the day's just flew in. It's like four o'clock already. I'm sitting watching like Murder She Wrote box set from the very beginning. Like that show is like older than me. It came out in 1984, and I was born in '85, so it's older than me. But I've been enjoying watching it. So there we go, we'll take a wee picture and I'll try and bring it down a bit so take a picture. Did it work? There we go. And that's us guys, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know there wasn't I wasn't doing a lot on the video but as I say it wasn't really a tutorial, it was just a thing that I just wanted to play and like just watch me play and maybe inspire you to get in and get your used toilet roll chips. And how I squashed mine was I've actually got like bathroom tiles and um, I've got sets of them and oh god I must have about 20 maybe 30 all stacked up. Um, so I basically put my toilet roll, flattened them manually with my hands and then put them underneath the, to the tiles, like in between the tiles for a couple of days or maybe a week or two, just to help flatten it and that's how I got all my toilet rolls really flattened and then I took them out for the tiles and just slid down the side. But uh, I'll leave Rebecca's video link in the description as well so you can go and check out hers and it's actually her challenge as well, um, the 100 things is her challenge. Um, I know there's other challenges now, I think Stampin' Up's doing a 100 things challenge, but Rebecca was doing the 100 things challenge, she did it last year and now everybody's all kind of, well, I don't know if everybody's all jumping in the bandwagon or Stampin' Up's always done the 100 things, but I don't know, but um, there's another 100 thing going on, it's like Stampin' Up and then there's like 100 days and 100 projects and all that, so she made it DWPP. Um, so that it, everybody knew it was her challenge that we were all taking part in her challenge and then obviously people are doing other challenges just use the normal name but she wanted to make it a bit more personal to her so that she knew what, like, what, that, it, that it was her challenge that people were de taking part in so um, yeah alright guys I will speak to you later as I say I'll put Rebecca's link in the description I'm still waiting in the hospital getting back to me to find out about my x-ray. Um, I need to wait and then getting back to me and then I'll go and pick up my x-ray and then uh, so I'll keep you updated on that as well.
Pippi goes in on the 20th to get spayed. Um, so she's in the heat now, but she's lying in her bed sleeping. So she goes in on the 20th of September to get spayed, um, which I'm not looking forward to, but I know it's the best thing for her, so... Yeah, so she's going to get that done. It's going to be weird, like, being in the house and her not being here for a couple of hours. <laughs> it's going to be really weird. But um, I'll just come on and do videos or something, or do some art, or clean or something, just to keep me occupied, because, like, that's going to be a, a really thingy day for me where I'll struggle because I'm not used to her being here and then she's not going to be here for a couple of hours so it's going to be weird for me. I know I go out without like and leave her in but it's going to be weird being in here and her not being here so I, I'll probably struggle for a bit so I need to um, come on and do a video or something take my mind off it or whatever um, but yeah so thanks for watching guys and I'll speak to you later. Bye! Love yous!